Hi, I'm student nurse Samantha and today I'll be demonstrating how to put in a Foley catheter. So I already checked the orders and Esther Bailey is due for a Foley catheter. So now all I'm going to do is just verify her name and date of birth. Hello, can you please verify your name and date of birth for me please? Esther Bailey 125XX. And then I saw that you have no known allergies, is that correct? Yes, I don't have any allergies. By any chance, are you allergic to betadine or latex? No, I'm not. Okay. So I've already provided patient privacy. Now I'm gonna perform hand hygiene and put some gloves on. Now I'm gonna um, inform my patient that I am going to expose her lower area and then I'm gonna ask her if she could um, position herself in dorsal recumbent position. Now I'm going to increase the level of the bed, and if this were a real patient, I would have cleansed the perineum area, thus it's already cleaned, so now I'm just going to open up my, my catheter kit. Now I'm going to open up the kit away from me first. I have her to keep my kit sterile. And usually they provide sterile gloves in the kit, but I, depending on size, I like to get my own. Okay, and now I'm gonna get my sheet. Shiny side is gonna be down. I'm gonna place it underneath the patient. So this right here has a hole in the middle to um, help usually with male patients. You could use it on the females, however, it does get in the way, so I'm choosing to throw it away. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my sterile gloves on. So at this point, I would take off my gloves I've taken off my old gloves and now I'm just gonna hand sanitize my hands one, one more time and then put on my sterile gloves. Now that I have my sterile gloves on, I could start prepping my kit. So I'm going to open up my iodine solution swab sticks. And then I'm going to open up my lubricant. And then now I'm gonna get my saline solution. Or actually, I'm gonna take out my tubing and we wanna be mindful that as we're taking the tube out, it doesn't fill, flail anywhere, so we it doesn't touch any unsterile surfaces. All right, now I'm gonna get my tubing, stick the lubricant in there. And now I'm going to get my saline solution. So I've attached the saline solution and we just want to make sure that we attach it. We don't uh, push any liquid yet. So now I'm just going to put this back on top that I have my sterile gloves on. 
I'm gonna put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna place my non-dominant hand on to the labia and spread so the meatus is visible. And once I've placed my hand there, I cannot move it. Now I'm gonna get my dominant hand and get my iodine swab sticks or whatever the hospital policy is and what they provide. I'm gonna get the uh, swab and I'm gonna, from the far side, go top to bottom, cleanse, drop. Then on the nearer side, top to bottom, cleanse, drop. And then now with my last stick, I'm gonna go into the middle, top to bottom, and drop. Catheter tube, it's already lubricated from the tip, so now I'm gonna hold up the tubing so it doesn't get contaminated. And then I'm advised that my patient take deep, slow breaths to pass the discomfort. I'm gonna insert the tube two to three inches, and then I'll note a flash of urine. Once I see that flash of urine, I'll insert it one to two more inches in. Okay, so we saw the flash, and then one to two more inches in. Now with my non-dominant hand, I can uh, grab the tubing to keep it in place. Now I'm gonna get my syringe, insert 10 cc's of fluid for the balloon to fill up. And then I wanna do a slight tug to make sure that it's in, it is. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna get the bag and hang it on the side of the bed rip, on the metal part. Okay, now I'm gonna take off my uh, syringe first. I'm gonna remove my gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Put a new set of gloves on. So now I'm gonna cleanse um, my patient. The purpose of this is betadine that we put on. So I'm first gonna clean the tubing first and then around my patient. And then we could proceed to remove everything. Okay, now I'm gonna position my patient back into a comfortable position. I'm gonna lower the bed, give my patient her call light, ask her if she needs anything. Now I'm gonna go back and chart the procedure. I'm gonna chart the uh, 12 French that I inserted into the patient, the 10 cc's that I inserted in the balloon, how the patient tolerated the procedure, and the assessment on the patient's urine.